This is our neighbor. We breathe the same air. We inhabit the same planet. We rely on the same ocean for our survival. Today, the health of that ocean is at risk. The sea is becoming more acidic. Coral reefs are disappearing. Microplastics are found even in the smallest of marine life. For over 50 years, the Marine Mammal Center has been a first responder to these threats. Our mission is to improve ocean health and inspire the next generation to take action. It all started in 1975 with a sea lion named Herman. We expanded our mission, educating the public and contributing to the global body of ocean research. We began to help marine mammals of all shapes and sizes. Our reach extended down the coast of California and across the Pacific. This growth over the past 50 years has allowed us to rehabilitate tens of thousands of marine mammals like Herman. At the heart of this work is our facility in Sausalito, the largest marine mammal hospital in the world. Decades of animal care have allowed us to create one of the leading marine mammal data and specimen libraries, giving us a unique window into the health of the ocean over time. Here, our veterinary experts rehabilitate 800 to 1600 marine mammals each year. They teach students from all over the world specialized techniques that we've developed over the last 50 years. Our researchers have contributed to hundreds of peer-reviewed articles on everything from whale ship strikes to how pollutants like DDT can cause cancer in sea lions. These are the sentinels for our ecosystem health and for problems that we're all facing. So by studying these animals and characterizing their problems, we start to understand what we may be faced with next. We have to get everyone involved. Our volunteer programs incorporate all ages, from aspiring marine scientists to those looking to inspire the next generation. Over the past 50 years, our work has expanded over 600 miles along the California coast and out to Hawaii. This living laboratory has allowed us to test solutions that can be shared with partners around the world. We rapidly respond to whales entangled in fishing gear or ocean trash and use our data to inform efforts to reduce the risk of entanglement. We have also encouraged large ships to reduce their speeds in areas where whales are present to reduce the risk of a whale getting struck. On Kona, we established Keikaiola, the only facility permitted by the United States government to rehabilitate endangered Hawaiian mud seals. Thanks to this facility and our partners, the monk seal population recently surpassed 1,500 for the first time in 20 years. Our work across this living laboratory goes beyond just rehabilitation. We build a broader public understanding of the ocean, working with communities to encourage changes in consumer behavior. On the policy level, our experts work with legislators to strengthen species protections and expand ocean research. We are in this together. Our health, the health of a sea lion like Herman, and the health of a monk seal in Hawaii are all linked. While the greatest threats to marine mammals are humans, we can also be their biggest champions. With growing threats like climate change, the need for a larger commitment could not be greater. We are prepared to meet this challenge. Like the last 50 years, this will only be possible with your support. Together, we can champion not only more sea lions like Herman, but the health of the ocean and the planet that we all call home.